Good morning again, Firefly community. It's that time of the month where I do my catching up with awesome people for a cup of coffee. We've got coffee. We're at a beautiful cafe here if you're on the coast. One of my faves, La Vintage Boutique. Beautiful little cafe, great coffee. But anyway, that's not important. <laughs> this guy is. So I'd like to introduce to you who is, I think probably a bit of an urban legend, but you're not oh. an urban legend yet. <laughs> but affectionately to all those people, who know him, Gordo. Morning. Thanks for joining me, man. Uh, my pleasure. It's um, a beautiful day again on the coast. Beautiful, yes. Beautiful, yeah. everyone. And actually, one of the things I wanted to bring up was Gordo is, by his own definition, the happiest <laughs> man in the world. The universe. The universe. The happiest Sorry. man in the world. There's a book written about it. Is there? Yeah, I should have bought the book. Yeah. Yeah. There's a book. Is it a good book? It's a great book. Great book. Good read. Not a big read, but it's a good read. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, listen, I normally start off uh, our little coffee catch-ups with, uh, uh, and especially when I'm talking to awesome people like you, um, by letting you tell us, the Firefly community, about some of the good you're doing. And, and more importantly, too, I'd like to know about some of the organisations yeah. that you work with, because you're not a, a, a one organisation man. No. So... Over to you, Gordo. Tell us about <laughs> what's going on in the, uh, the Gordo volunteering world. Well, right at the moment, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. uh, this weekend, we are doing a fundraiser for PTSD Resurrected. Right. And that charity is run by a Gold Coast local, yep. Andrew Cullen, right. who is a veteran. Mm -hmm. And he had the most dangerous job in the world. Right. He was a bomb disposal yeah, okay. guy. And no mistakes there, right? He came back with severe PTSD. Yeah. Like just was a different person. And he found a program that, you know, brought him back to life, I guess. Yeah. And now, I, knew, I didn't know him when he came back. But if you talk to his wife and his friends, like he was just, just not the same person. Yeah, right. And like, I don't want to go into, it, you know. The but, but just generally, like, how bad is is the problem on a national and, and oh, global get, basis? Well, this was interesting. We went to went to a lunch on Friday mm -hmm. where Andrew spoke at, and I I didn't know the statistic, but from the I think it was the Afghan war. We lost 40. Sorry. It's, it's all right, man. I know how passionate you are. So we lost 40 soldiers at war. Right. Since that, there's over a thousand we've lost to suicide. Wow. Wow. It's terrible. It is. They just, they don't, they don't get the support when they get home. Yeah. So this charity so, that you, you're uh, yeah, working Yeah, so, so what, An what, An what, what Andy does is he runs a program to help veterans, yep. first responders, mm -hmm. anyone really with PTSD, because right. it's such a big problem yeah. in, you know, in our society. So to, to, for us, it's a, you know, it's a big passion of ours to help him. So this weekend, we've got the event we're running is called the Seven Summits Virtual Challenge. Right. So it runs for 48 hours from 6 o'clock Friday night to 6 o'clock on Sunday night. Wow. And we'll be, yeah, walking through the, the forest in Narang and, yeah, to raise awareness and to raise funds to help Andy yeah, okay. uh, run his so program. So we can, anyone that sees our little... Uh our newsletter because it's yeah. going out before the weekend. Oh, awesome. Uh, there's a website that they can jump on or donate to or... Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what's the best way to do that? Is there any way we can put a link in your newsletter if I yeah, send absolutely. you the details? Yeah, for sure. Well, what so, I'll do is I'll send so you... Check out the link yeah. for, for this unbelievable uh, exercise and, and uh, event that Gordo's got yeah. on. And then we're having, we're having a barbecue down at the Velodrome at Narang yeah. at 6 o'clock Sunday night. So if anyone enters or just uh, donates to it, yeah. then that locks you in for the barbecue. Yeah. So you come down, have a sausage, and yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. Better than bunning sausages, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Robbo, you know Robbo. I do. He's got a meat guy, uh -huh. and he's got the best sausages. Fantastic. Yeah. 
there's all these these things that you get to know when yeah. you're a volunteer, right? Yeah. So so that's one of those the organisations that you're working with. Yeah. But uh, I know you've got some other things that are going yeah. on as well. So so another a bit about them. So another event I've got I've got coming up is what we call the Walk End Away, which started back in 2021. Yeah. And that's to raise awareness for uh, organ and tissue donation in yeah, Australia right. because mm-hmm. we've got not enough people that are on our register. We've got on the register a waiting list. We've got about two thousand people right. that are waiting, and by the time you get to the list, mm-hmm. your quality of your life is not real good. Yeah, right. There's thousands more that haven't made a list yet, but yeah. still, yeah, 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 they need they need something. You know, because I don't know if you know anybody who spent time on a dialysis machine. It's not a good quality of life doing no, that. And I people have got, got, you know, respiratory problems. It's just the quality of life is terrible. Yeah. So that is to obviously raise awareness for that and get, yeah, just get more people registered. That we In Australia, we've got one of the highest success rates of transplant, organ transplant in the world, right. but we've got one of the lowest The lowest rates. subscription rates, yeah. yeah. And if I, you know, if we if we interviewed or surveyed 100 people, 70 of them say, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be an organ donor. But the, the fact is only 30% of Australians are actually registered organ donors. Yeah, right. So, um, and in Australia, it's an opt-in situation, or an opt-out situation. Sure. So if you're not registered and you don't tell your family that's what you want to do, then if you pass away and they ask you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, know, you could have saved 10 people's lives, yeah, well. but if nobody knows, then, yeah, unfortunately, you yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, that's terrific. So, so we've got uh, uh, a PTSD and organ, um, uh, organ donation. And yeah, awareness. and so what the, the, the event we've got coming up for that, so it's called the Walk End the Wait. Right. It's the first walk was in 2021. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a walk from Gold Coast to Sydney. Yep. And then, which was, it's a great doing that, but when you're on like, walking down a highway, it's hard to spread your message. Yeah, yeah, sure. And people are going past you at 110 kilometers an hour. Yep. So the last two years, 22 and 23, we've done a local event around the Gold Coast. Right. Where I just walk 600 Ks in 14 days. I get up in the morning, got my flag, yeah, and I walk around and I share the message of, sure. you know, hey guys, we need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so, how can how can our community get on board with that one as well? Uh, well, I can I can I can give you a link to that as well. All right, where they can support that. Yeah, sure, that's going to fill up good. our newsletter with and all these links, and they're all worthwhile. And then at the end, we've got this is this awesome day. This one. This is awesome. Yeah. This is called the Orange Ball. Yeah. Which comes after the after the walk, and yeah. it's a great event. We've yeah. got we've got a. A retro band plays seventy and eighties music. Nice. We've got we got, we have great guest speakers. This year's this year's can I tell Sure. Tell yeah, story? Yeah. Well last year we did the World Transplant Games were on in Perth last year. Right. So one of our events last year was like the Olympic torch, they have what they call the gift of life baton. Right. So okay. Robbo and I and two other guys, we got in our motorbikes, we strapped the gift of life back into the front of Robbo's bike yeah. and we rode to Perth. Wow. And along the way, we just, again, we just stopped and, you know, shared the message of yeah, yeah, the sure. need of, of, of uh, organ donors. And we left from the Gold Coast University Hospital right. and while we were there, we met two couples and one of them was heading over for the Games mm-hmm. and he was going to be the oldest participant. Yep. Terry last year was i think it was 80 or 81 last year Mm -hmm. but he's also the oldest surviving heart transplant he got his heart transplant 30 years ago yeah that's all and we're having a chat to terry and another couple was there uh and we heard their backstory and what happened was terry was actually a torchbearer for the 2000 olympics yeah right and he met Tom and Diane, him, his wife Nook, met Tom and Diane, who was a local Gold Coast couple. Mm-hmm. They were helping facilitate the the baton, and then they were just chatting. And Terry told them their story about his heart transplant and when it happened, and and then Tom and Diane went. That's about the time that they lost their son. Right. 
<laughs> and he obviously he donated his organs. Cut a long story short, they find out that their son's heart is in Terry. Wow. And it's just crazy story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they all live on a goal they live on a goal okay. So since then, since the two thousand Olympics, they've just become the best of friends. Yeah. And well, like family, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. like family, yeah. yeah. And so they they are our guest speakers at the ball this year. Wow. And it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing yeah, just just to hear that the full story yeah. of how that all happened, it's yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Fantastic. And when's the ball come up? The ball's on the seventh of September. Saturday the seventh of September. Seventh of September. Yeah. And there's a website for all that which Yeah, I'll, I'll give you can, a link for that as well. Three, three links. Give you another link for that one as well. <laughs> but, uh, that, that, that's that's a really good event though. It's a lot of fun, but yeah. there's a lot of meaning in it as well. Yeah, yeah. it's terrific. And the, obviously, the general purpose is to have fun and learn about some yeah. you know, unbelievable stories, and mm. obviously, and help, to help, help and to help fun well. Australia, who are so supportive of people on a waiting list, and then yeah. helping people after they've yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. So obviously, uh, you know, we've uh, we've connected on a number of different fronts. Gordo, as I said, is urban legend. I met Gordo at B and I, and I mm. uh, uh, met him at uh, Better Man. Yeah, and uh, at Rotary, and <laughs> Gordo keeps popping up in lots of places. <laughs> so, one of the, the the commonalities is obviously Firefly Initiative. Yeah, and um, then again, so uh, I, I'd like to ask what your general thoughts are, what you thought about Firefly Initiative when you first heard about it, and now that oh. you've been using the. the oh, it's, a, it's a it's a it's it's a great platform, I guess, to help support mm -hmm. the encourage in volunteers yep. and allow the community to to get involved like yeah. if you, you know you've got a big corporation they can't get out there and you know they don't have men on the ground to do things but sure. we're on the ground doing things and yeah. they can support the volunteers by yeah. you know with vouchers and different things and yeah. rewarding people not that not that volunteers do it for the reward sure. but you know it's, it's just great you know it's, it's, it's yeah. a feel good thing yeah and it's just great for the community Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, obviously that was our intention. Yeah. You know, um, because we recognise, you know, the the value. It's really, you know, I suppose we met probably 12, 18 months ago mm. now. Yeah. And the, just what we've learnt in, yeah. in the conversation with with so many awesome people and yeah. awesome organisations and, and a lot like the, the, the three that you've mentioned, mm. a greater number of the community wouldn't even know. Yeah. But thank you anyway. Mm. You know, it's all this... We're sort of the silent achievers yeah. that don't make any noise, just keep mm. doing great work. Um, so in, in relation to, you know, obviously you've used the app and you've recorded your time, yep. although side issue, Gordo said I need, a, I need to log needs, some time. I need to log some time, <laughs> so we'll get on to that. Um, uh, in relation to, to, to the platform, any suggestions or any comments about how we could make it better or easier for oh, volunteers? Oh, it's, it's, it's easy, you just gotta do it. Yeah. You know, it's not hard to do, you just open it up and Put your time in, and yeah. you know, it's there's you, 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 someone else needs to. What, what do you call the word? To validate, validate, yeah, validate what validate, you've yeah, done. Yeah. You, know, so you can't just go in there and go put all the stuff in because you want yeah, to get a yeah. reward. So there's, you know, there's accountability to it, but it's great. It's easy. It's, yeah. not, it's not hard to do. Yeah, and that's it's, it's a very simple platform. Yeah. Terrific. So you, no, no, Gordo tips on how we can make it better or. Uh, I don't know how you'd make it better. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Not sure. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard. Um, you yeah, know, that's good. So we um, we're looking forward to uh, the next little uh, stink we've got. We've got um, some major mm -hmm. corporations that are now starting to get behind awesome. the, the app as well, which obviously, from a fundraising perspective, is going to mm. assist organisations, yeah. um, and certainly the ones like you've, you've mentioned today. But um, if you've got, you know, usually I get at least two or three suggestions. So I'm glad that <laughs> I, I finally caught up with you, Gordo, and get up uh, without uh, having to do a whole heap of explanation of what's coming <laughs> next. But some exciting stuff. In this newsletter, um, in particular, one of the articles that that we are focusing on uh, is about that whole um, uh, fundraising process. And you've just mentioned three different events. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and one of the articles in that is, is fundraising as a friend or as a foe. Mm -hmm. So you do a lot of fundraising for a yep. lot of different organisations. What's the what's the Gordo 
what's the good inside tip for other organisations that may struggle a little with, with their fundraising? Oh, jeez. Hard work, get out there. Yeah, that's that's it, that is really what it is. You just have to get out there and yeah. get involved and you know, be passionate about it. Yeah, you know, we we as a group, as you know, we've got uh, we're a local charity yep. that just supports other charities. Yeah, you know, the Betterman and Linuses. We just started as a group. Started initially as a as a support for men, mm-hmm. but as we're running our events, wives and partners were coming along. We thought, well, what? Why is it just for men? Yeah, it should be a community group bringing people together. Yeah, and whilst we don't have anything, you know, we're, all the funds we raise, just like with the PTSD one this weekend, so whatever we raise goes straight to them. Yeah, you know, whatever when we do, when I do my walk, whatever I do goes straight to Transparent Australia. The ball exactly the same, and we do other things. We, you know, we'll. When we've got some money in there, then we'll you know we'll buy sleeping bags for, for the homeless. We'll support you know lunches for the homeless. It just that's what we do as, yeah. as a group. Yeah, yeah, so. that's terrific. Mm. Well, mate, uh, I think we can now just enjoy the rest of our coffee. Yeah, well, awesome. I appreciate everything you do for um, uh, a better man online. This is a greater community, and for the Gold Coast and you know Australia, man. And, uh, well, thank you for the thanks initiative. for being awesome, man. Yeah. Thanks for being awesome. <laughs> Look forward to uh, get onto those links and help support uh, Gordo with the, the causes that we talked about today. And and uh, I hope you enjoy the newsletter. And we we'll look forward to catching up with uh, with some more awesome people next month. See ya. Awesome. <laughs>